Mount Everest is the world's highest mountain, and a particularly desirable peak for mountaineers. The giant mountain has a peak that soars over 29,000 feet. What many people don't realise is climbing Everest doesn't come cheap. It can cost around £50,000 to climb the summit. This mountain can reach some harsh temperatures, averaging minus 19 in the summer, and minus 36 degrees in the winter. Recently, mysterious sightings have been witnessed around the mountain. Over the last few years, people have reported seeing UFOs above Mount Everest, with some even saying that they have seen crafts land on the mountain itself. The Hidden Underbelly 2.0 claims the following. Although this footage isn't new, not many people have seen this footage, but I hope to change this as the satellite image was taken in 2009. It wasn't until 2016 that a mixed team of scientists and military personnel were sent to the east face of the mountain, and from the base camp they could clearly see the outline of an object under the snow and ice. It's unclear as to what happened next, as some reports claim that this face of Mount Everest was closed for several weeks, but others claim there was nothing there. It was a ridge formation. One viewer said the following, I think that it could show a UFO. The way this object is laying in the snow doesn't look normal. It looks as though the craft has been landed there or even crashed. I have seen similar things in Antarctica, and it doesn't look natural. This could be a real UFO. Sightings of UFOs in the mountain have increased over the years. However, some people are not entirely won over, with one viewer saying the following. This photo shows nothing. You cannot say this is a UFO just by one photo. It could be anything. Unless you send a team of scientists to examine the site, you can't say for sure what it is. I personally don't think it's a UFO. Why would it travel all this way just to crash into a mountain? It wouldn't make sense. People are so easy to label something a UFO without doing a proper investigation. This could be something as simple as snow laying in a strange formation or there could have been an avalanche there recently. However, there are some that do believe these objects visit our planet, suggesting that experienced mountaineers have witnessed these objects while on the mountain. Over the last few years, there have been a wave of werewolf sightings in Brazil. The werewolf is a mythological animal and the subject of many stories throughout the world. Werewolves are, according to some legend, people who morph into powerful wolves. Others are a mutant combination of human and wolf. Recently, locals in Brazil have been witnessing alleged werewolves. This photograph made the rounds which allegedly showed a werewolf caught on a CCTV camera. These mysterious creatures have also been reported to attack people. Two attacks by a wolfman or a dogman were reported in Brazil in 2008 and 2009. A woman told police she was attacked on January the 28th, 2009. This was by a big dog that stood on its hind legs and walked like a man. In 2008, police received numerous reports of a half-man, half-wolf that was stealing sheep and breaking into houses. Another witness said the following about their encounter. It was 11pm at night and I was walking back to my house. I live in a small village that's surrounded by woodland. In the daytime, it's a nice place to be, but at night it can be creepy. While I was walking home, I could hear these noises. The only way I can describe them is they sounded like grunts. After this kept happening, I decided to turn around and look for what was making the noises. To my shock, I saw a seven-foot beast staring at me. This creature looked exactly like a werewolf. After locking eyes of it and freezing, I managed to get the courage to run. I ran so fast back to my house that I never looked back once. When I got back to my house safely, I was so relieved. This encounter did affect me though. I didn't leave my house for days and I never ventured out after dark. I truly believe these creatures are lurking in the darkness. Another witness said the following about their encounter. While I was out in my garden, I could hear noises at my gate. After looking through one of the cracks, I could see a large hairy animal. At first, I thought it might have been a large stray dog, but when it stood up on its hind legs, I knew this was the creature that people was talking about. 
He kept scratching at the gate and making loud noises. I immediately ran into my house. The next day there were scratch marks up my gate. I haven't seen the creature since. The Loch Ness Monster is one of the most well-known cryptids. The story of the Loch Ness Monster began as early as the 6th century AD, where a monk described an event where a man was swimming in the loch and encountered the monster. Another account regarding the beast was in the 19th century, when a man saw an object moving in the water at high speeds. The famous cryptid was recently spotted as tourists saw the creature's head sticking out the water. The sighting occurred around midday. As with most encounters, it didn't last for long. Another witness had this to say about their encounter. I was driving near Loch Ness in 2014, when I saw something strange. At first I couldn't make out what it was so I decided to pull over. After making the short walk to the loch I saw a large creature. Upon first looking at it I thought it was a mutant beaver, but then I could see this thing had paddles. I couldn't believe it but I was actually looking at the Loch Ness Monster. Although I've lived here for years I've never really taken interest in the monster, as I always thought it was created for tourism. I was gobsmacked that I was seeing this thing in real life. It was on the surface of the water and it looked like it was playing. It was rolling around and that's when I got a view of the paddle. This whole experience lasted for around 90 seconds. I'm not someone who's tried to make people believe me. I'm just really amazed I got to see this incredible creature. As mentioned, I live near the loch, and I know a lot about the local wildlife, but this thing was different. When you see something you don't recognise for the first time it stays in your head, and this is exactly what it did. It's an experience that will stay with me forever. Each year there is between 4 and 10 sightings of the creature. However, the Loch Ness Monster had a busy year in 2017, with more reported sightings in 2017 than any other year this century. Recently, Mr Smith and his family took a picture of a black shape seen low in the water. He said the sighting lasted for about a minute at midday. This is what he saw. It seems that sightings are still being reported. Although scientists suggest the Loch Ness Monster isn't real, people seem to be sure about what they're seeing. The Mothman is a well-known cryptid from the state of West Virginia. Over the last few decades, West Virginia has had a number of visitations from the Mothman. The first recorded Mothman sighting took place on the 12th of November 1966. This was near West Virginia. Five men were looking out at some trees, and noticed something strange. Lifting off from the trees was a brown winged creature. The men held to the fact that what lifted off beyond the trees was no bird. It was a humanoid. These images were recently captured by a man. I can't seem to find where the images originated from but I was sent a testimony. It said the following. This creature suddenly flew out from the trees. It surprised everyone that was around and many people started running away. It was like nothing I'd seen before. It looked like a man that had huge wings. I've never seen any animal that matched this creature. The creature flew from the trees and into the clouds. After it went into the clouds I couldn't track it anymore. After the encounter I went home and did some research. I discovered that the only thing that matched my encounter was the Mothman. I think that I witnessed this creature. This was the Mothman. The photos look interesting, but what do you guys think it is? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Over the last few decades there have been many encounters with the Mothman. On the 15th of November 1966, two couples would encounter this bizarre creature. They were driving through the TNT area around midnight, when one of them noticed two large glowing red eyes in the darkness. This was besides the Old North Power Plant. They soon learned that those eyes belonged to something that looked human. The creature was around 7 feet tall and had wings. After stopping the car, the couples inspected the creature. The four realised immediately their spectacle was no ordinary bird. 
Incredibly, this creature chased them down Highway 62 to the Point Pleasant city limits at speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour. A mysterious creature resembling the Mothman was also sighted in the UK. In 1976 in Mornan, Cornwall, there was a sighting of a large creature known as Owlman. The first sighting took place on the 17th of April 1976, when the creature was spotted hovering above the Mornan Church Tower. Strangely sightings up to August 1978 all occurred within the vicinity of this church. This cryptid which unsurprisingly has the appearance of an owl, is about the size of a man. It has pointed ears, red eyes and black pincer like claws. Another encounter happened in 2007. The eyewitness said the following. As I was driving home from a friend's house I witnessed something that changed my life. The only way I can describe it is it looked like a giant owl. While driving home I saw this giant creature fly in front of my car. It shocked me at first as I had no idea what it was. As I slowed my car down I could see it flying off in the distance. This thing was huge and unlike anything I'd seen before. I think that I may have witnessed the owl man. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.